Hi guys, my name is Laolo Loede. I work for Jimmy as an offline marketing manager. Today, I will be taking you on the basics of defending for FIFA 20. Like a lot of guys have complained about the porous defense, how they got trashed by their friends, how they lost in competitions. But today, I'll be taking you on the basics of FIFA 20 just to make your stay at home during this lockdown a very pleasurable and memorable one. Join me as we go on this ride. <laughs> So hi guys, here we are. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using Juve and uh, Bayern Munich. So here we go. Okay, Juve did not use their real name, or EA Sports did not use their real name for. But definitely has something to do with Ronaldo being in that team. Bayern Munich, where are you? Okay, so as you can see, the two teams are almost equally matched. And um, for me, one important thing while when you when when you're playing a defensive game is to always try to select teams that have tall defenders. Um, when you've chosen your team first place you go is the team management uh, section never miss it never ever skip this uh, for no particular reason for no particular reason i prefer a 4231 wide formation because it allows me execute my wing play very much so but feel free to choose whatever formation um, that you feel comfortable with but but i would always advise that you do not use a three-man defense for any reason except you want to concede a lot of goals except that is the plan to concede a lot of goals so well, selecting the players i like Well, I like the lead, but I don't like his height so much. But other than that, he's one of my favorite players. So, for defensive-minded games, one place you should always go is your instructions and interceptions. So, you can see we have aggressive, normal, conservative interceptions. So, you should set your defenders to be placed on aggressive interceptions. Why? Aggressive interceptions make your defenders very aware. Uh, it makes sure that the AI supports your defenders and in assisting you in collecting the ball from your opponent and also intercepting passes, depending on how well you can position your your defenders. So here we go. But the Sigillo aggressive interception, Chinelli aggressive interception, Alexandro aggressive interceptions um, okay my midfield too I usually like to set them to aggressive interceptions so they can always fall back to assess the defense all right and yeah we are we're good to go so yes a great day for football in this lovely stadium I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith has joined me for the commentary today. With great anticipation, we're looking forward to the match coming up very shortly. This should be a special game, Alan. So guys, notice how most of the defenders in both teams are really tall. Ronaldo gives it away. Pjanic in the centre of the park. And just one up front for them today. Bayern Munich's lineup. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Nicolas Sula in defence. Serge Gnabry plays with Kingsley Coman as the wide options. Robert Lewandowski is the main striker today. Here's Douglas Costa. 
On to Ronaldo. Dybala. Douglas Costa. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Matuidi. Miralem Pjanic. Pjanic with good vision here. Ronaldo's gone near post, they're trying to find him. Could have done better with the cross into the goalkeeper's reach. De Chilio. Cuadrado. On to Ronaldo. Lewandowski. Serge Gnabry. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. All right. Still countering here. Watch out! He's attacking on the flank. Maybe he'll cross it here. Wow. Well. Gotta be quick now. <laughs> So watch how he's attacking on the flank. Um, so I don't take my defender to go and meet him immediately. Basically, what I press is um, R1 and run. Basic rule of defending. I try to time my interception and I press R1 and run. So what you want to defend against the corner kick as soon as the player's leg connects to the ball. As soon as the player's leg connects to the ball, you change your cursor by pressing R2 and press forward and try to nod the ball using the box button Away, ball clearance. Tries the shot here. And the goalkeeper got across to it. watch this another corner kick here comes the corner wonderful save from Wojciech Chesney and <laughs> the goalkeeper right. got it at last and this time in a way where he could take the heat out of the situation. It was pretty hot for him just before that, wasn't it? What a very good save. Well, you saw how he moved about the goal there. He really does get up and down quickly. He's so agile, this keeper. Hernandez. Hernandez. Robert Lewandowski. Still got a bit to do, but this is Watch. promising. They've lost the ball. That is the jockey movement there. So um, we have another player attacking on the flank and with timing and precision I use the jockey movement using the L2 button and L L2 and X together. That's the jockey movement. Atweeding. Being challenged here. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Now it's offside. Bala. Guided through. Douglas Costa. Aldo. Quadrano. And there it is, the opening goal. <sighs> we can see here how well he reacts, gets his body in the right position. Good header. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Goes into the wider areas where they've nice. got a winger waiting. <clears throat> so, this is one reason I always insist that you have four defenders at the back instead of three because, um, for teams that um, engage in wing play, you will be able to collect the ball easily, just like this here. Um, a combination of X and R1 to get the ball here. Yeah. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. Promising forward play from them again. Into Dybala's area in the centre. Now he's got the ball. Oh. What's he going to do? Now, this is one reason why you should use the counter attack. Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> this is one reason why you should use the aggressive interception. Because the AI automatically helps you intercept passes just like. Just like this. Tactics these two managers are likely to employ beforehand. We'll soon find out. The line up for the home side. Giorgio Chiellini starts with Leonardo Bonucci in central defense. Blaise Matuidi starts with Miralem Pjanic in the center of the park. And the great man is up front. Lewandowski! He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Leonardo Bonucci, Matuidi, Miralem Pjanic. It goes out wide again. Desilio, Matuidi. Here's Alexandro. Cuadrado. Now Cuadrado. Switch of emphasis going inside. He's cut it out. Kimmich did well, stuck out. Now, this is another example of aggressive interception or advantage of aggressive interception just here. The, the AI automatically makes your, your defenders and your players aware and collects the ball midway. A foot cut off the pass. Now Gnabry. Serge Gnabry. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Quadrado. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's Douglas Costa. Matuidi. Miralem Pjanic. Quadrado. De Chilio. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. On to Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo got his head to it well, but no power. Well, to, to get there first, to find some space, but couldn't apply the finishing touch. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Joshua Kimmich. Now Gnabry. Definitely a throw in there. Pjanic. De Chilio. Well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Shielded it well, that's good skill. Tolisso. Serge Gnabry. A bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Nice. Now, this is, an, this is a typical example of two man marking. Watch how the player behind and the one in front of him comes and marks him out. So, you, all you need to do is, do is press box and X together to do your two man marking. You, it only works when your box is on, uh, your box is currently used to slide. You press box and X together for your two man marking. Decision is a throw, it's a fair tackle. Kimmich. It's 
threading it through. In the clear for a great chance. Cross is long towards the back post. Yeah. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Now Gnabry. Tolisso. Hernandez. Read to play well. Ibala. Matuidi. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Now that's a great block. That's good attacking play. They've got a corner from it. Maybe a chance for a goal. Janic with the corner. Defended well. A great chance to go in front. It comes out of the goalkeeper. Really. Oh, it's a penalty. Well, it's been tight out there. Not much to choose, but a bit of a gift there. So in the situation of a penalty kick, um, especially when the penalty kick is against you, um, the trick here is um, to look at the head of the player that is supposed to play the penalty against you. For example, if a, a player if a player is about to shoot the ball, now do not look at the ball, look at the head, as at the point where the leg makes contact with the ball. His head actually turns to the direction where the ball is going to so you have to be really fast and you have to really you have to really time it and really be fast in directing your keeper to it and use the two analog buttons to direct your keeper to whatever side you've decided Alright, so this is how you take a penalty kick. So if you watch if you watch the other player before he takes the penalty kick, you will notice that as at the point his leg connects with the ball, his head is actually tilted towards the direction in which he wants to play the ball to. So all you need to do is be fast in moving your keeper to that direction and how do you do this you use the two analog buttons to move to whatever side you feel the player is going to play the ball so just as you've seen in this um, penalty shootout very not very easy but okay thank you all for joining on today's edition of fifa 20 defense tutorial it was really an exciting moment. Feel free to drop your likes or your comments in the comment section and also let me know if you would like a follow-up section on FIFA 20. Thank you and stay safe.